Hey everybody, welcome to your, what month is it? Oh yeah, July 2022 tarot reading. And I'm going to be using a Cosmic Tarot deck. This is Cosmic Tarot. And this is my main deck that I work with. And then I'll be pulling cards from my Edgar Allan Poe deck. And then I will be using mermaids and dolphins, right like that. Yes, mermaids and dolphins, okay. So I'm just gonna shuffle my cards. My name is Rachel Srinivasan. Welcome to my channel. This is a collective message. So this is a message for anybody who comes across the video and just take what resonates um, and leave what doesn't. Okay, it looks like we have a lot of people in our spread here for July, 2022. I'm gonna go ahead and take a photo. Okay, so in the center of our spread for July, we have Five of Swords. Five of Swords um, is about a new discovery. It's like a defeat card, so the discovery doesn't always feel nice. It feels like we maybe were um, promoted to the next management level, or usually, it's usually this has to do with like work, where you, suddenly you're promoted to the next level, but then you realize that in this management circle or work bubble the people are no longer following or adhering to the mission statement or there's something going on in like the company doesn't doesn't value the customers as much as they thought they did something like this so it's called a defeat card but it's not like you're in a soccer game and somebody wins and somebody loses it's a defeat as in like new knowledge is presented that you weren't really prepared for um something like that like maybe you took a class and then you started learning about something that you really didn't know what this class was about or something like that like it's just new information that's presented it doesn't always feel good okay so that's five of swords fives are about change okay now in the recent past so maybe this was last month um maybe even in early july you'll be around the king of cups so the king of cups is an emotional character, right? But he's also a master. Uh, he has mastered his emotions and he's not afraid to use his emotions. And he probably talks quite eloquently about how he feels. And he's been through a lot in his life. And rather than becoming a man that is a curmudgeon or resentful, he's actually, he's gone through a lot, but it's actually made him a better person, more loving and oftentimes more spiritual. I will describe him as a Cancer or Scorpio or Pisces because we're talking about a lot of feels, like having the feels a lot. Now, so maybe you were around this person and then like he got you into this management circle or else he helped you get to where you are except now that you're learning something that you don't really want to know, but he helped promote you to this spot. Um, he means well, even if the information that you learn is not as nice. He is a good character. Now, in the near future, we have the Hierophant, which means like, sometimes it can mean government or officialdom of some sort, making something official. It could also mean stepping into more psychic abilities um, because he's this this is a, a hierophant and you can see he's very clairvoyant right he's got a lot going on here in his eyes because he's he's clairvoyant so he, he he's an advisor though too so a lot of people come to him for advice whether he wants it or not so whatever family you're in whether you're in a family of people that are into sports or family it's like your actual family maybe it's your neighborhood family whatever group you're in somebody's gonna see you or a lot of people will see you as an advisor of some sort because they understand that you're gifted or that you're able to see patterns in people and able you're able to advise accordingly. So um, even if, like I said, you don't like this new news here, people still come to you for advice. Um, also in the hidden position, we have the Princess of Pentacles. This can be a daughter who is very good with plants and animals and op opinionated about money and how money is spent because she's a princess not a king or a queen so she's not usually making a lot of money but she's good at saving it also um very family oriented 
It's a very family oriented young lady here. She's in your hidden position. So maybe she is around you, but she's not like letting on how much advice she needs from you or how much attention. So for all those people of parents of like young ladies, maybe your maybe your daughter is going to need a lot more guidance this month than she normally would and she's not telling you that even though she might pester you want to be around you she's not actually voicing the fact that she needs your attention so that's why it's in the hidden position or maybe you need to pay more attention to her even if she doesn't ask for that attention in the future or tendencies of development and i think this could be like within the confines of july or else maybe then um near the next month you'll be hanging around the high priestess or else you will be the high priestess. So what is the high priestess? Well, it's a two that doesn't necessarily have to do with like um, teaching, but it can be a, an accumulation of knowledge, accumulation and understanding, maybe studying because the high priestess where she can be a woman and usually she is, she's somebody who's very gifted in metaphysical arts. She's a mystic, um, she's not necessarily a teacher though, because she will hoard information. She has the archetype of being like a cloistered nun. So she's usually with a book here. So from alpha to omega, she studies a subject from beginning to end and she's a little bit mysterious. So you will be hanging out with her near the end of the month or else you will be more embodying this type of energy. So congratulations to you, except that you're probably not going to like teach this information. You're just going to be sitting with it. So let's move on to the next spread here. So the next spread will be with Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan Poe. Gotta be honest, not a super big fan of these cards. Not a big fan. I'm going to go ahead and take a photo. All right. So 10 of quills. That it says the actual quote on this card says weep now or never more. So quills in the Edgar Allan Poe deck is swords. Tens of swords is usually a lot of confusion. And as you can see by this particular card, it could be stabbing in the back. Is somebody stabbing you in the back with quills? Oh, you, you tell me. It also kind of means it doesn't, that's not the traditional meaning of this card. The traditional meaning of this card is like a cycle of like confusion and mental anguish that has now ended. So it's actually, you're coming to the end of it. So whatever has happened ha has already happened and you're actually healing from it. Now, this is the 10 of wells. Maybe this is in the recent past, maybe it was la last month. We have two tens here. So there are two completions. So something really, really went well financially for you last month or else in the very beginning of, of July. So Ten of Wells, Ten of Pentacles. And the quote is, And never the angels in heaven above, nor the demons down under the sea, can ever dissever my soul from the soul of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. Okay, well, you know. Oh, actually, it's Ten of Cups. I'm sorry. This is not the Ten of Pentacles. Um, this would have been like some charity work. You did some charity work recently. It's about the heart overflowing. So it's not a financial card, but it does tell me that whoever is watching this video is actually a very loving person and wants to give back to the community, community oriented, so much love that they give to the community on a continual basis. But I am sorry about all this confusion that's happening now because it seems to be some mental anguish. I always recommend meditation, people. Three of Quills. So Three of Quills would be the Three of Swords. And this is closer to the end of July. And this is a heartbreak card. I am very sorry. But sometimes separations happen and they are um, needed because endings are beginnings. This could this doesn't necessarily mean a breakup or separation, but it, it can mean a loss. But the void within my heart refused and even thus to be filled. I longed for the love which I had before filled it to overflowing. Yeah. So, yeah, you can see she's crying. OK, so a sense of loss, a sense of heartbreak at the end of the month here, end of July. That might be a good thing because we have a lot of confusion here and we want to end it. We want to end the confusion. All right. 
Queen of Wells. This is the uh, Queen of Cups. Yes. Um, I'm going to read this. This is the Queen, Queen of Cups. She's in the hidden position. So we have a woman who is a Scorpio Pisces Cancer who is very emotional. She's also very loving. She wants to be adored. Um, and she um, loves to adore other people. So if she's a mother, then she's going to be very affectionate, okay? And constantly tell her children how much she loves them. So an emotional mother who would love to be adored with, you know, she likes fancy dinner. She likes roses. She likes to be treated well and pampered. Um, no guile disguised the fervor of love which animated her heart, and she examined me with its inmost recess as we walked together in the valley of the many-colored grass. Yes, I mean, I don't know, but here we go. You know, queen of, queen of cups over here. You know, she would be the female counterpart for the king of cups. So... She's in the hidden position. She's the mother here. If there is a family involved, then the King of Cups would be the dad. And then the, the young lady would be, the daughter would be the Princess of Pentacles and this would be the mom. But she's also in the hidden position. Maybe she is hiding the fact that she's so emotional or she's the one, or maybe she's causing some of this anguish. I'm, I'm not sure. However, at the end of the month, we have the Ace of Candles. So even though we have Ten of Wells and Ten of Quills, and there's some confusion, there's some heartbreak at the end of the month, at the or it could be moving into August, we have, this is basically the Ace of Wands, which means, bam, a whole new activity level and like a lightning bolt full of energy doing something new like a new activity it can't be new work if the work is like very physically intensive um something creative like could be um getting into art again it can be getting into a musical instrument it could be finding a new sport but it's going to be an uh, entirely new activity that's going to bring your life force level up and you're going to enjoy life to the fullest in a very physical way so like let's say you discover you like hiking. Like I live in Arizona, there's a lot of hiking. So, you know, maybe it's somebody who's discovered their love for it. That's a good example. So it says, deep into that darkness peering, I long stood there, long I stood there, wondering, fearing, doubting, dreaming, dreams no mortal had ever dared dream before. So it's kind of like a daring card, like you're daring yourself to do something new. And it's quite physical. It's a very physical card. Now, candle, like, it's very symbolic about, you know, a zest for life, about sparking something new in your life. So, although we have ten of quills and three of quills, which are sadness cards, it's, you're going to be starting a whole new activity. It's going to be really exciting. Now, time for a summary card from um, Mermaids and Dolphins. You're being helped. You're being helped. I'll take a photo of this. Heaven is working behind the scenes to help you even if it does even if you don't see the results. Okay. So for all those people that are like have a dedicated prayer practice or they've been, you know, wanting something, asking for something specifically from the divine, guess what? You're being helped and you're being it's being acknowledged right here. So don't give up on your dreams even if they don't see a, seem apparent to you. So whatever you're praying about, whatever you've been asking heaven for or um divine intelligence for, you got to realize that everything is happening for your best interest right now amidst all the heartbreak and confusion that you're feeling. Oh, I know that this is not a spirit art video. Um, this is tarot. I wanted to say that I will be giving another um, spirit art event at Halo's Ascension Center at 1309 West Guadalupe Road. And I'll be doing a different type of reading called spirit art. Um, so join me on Saturday, which is when this is, this coming Saturday, from 10.30 to 3.30 p.m. at Halo's Ascension Center. So, and then if you do want tarot, I can do that too, but you're probably gonna go see me for spirit art. Have a really great month, everybody. Best of luck. Remember, you are being helped. Bye.